a community pushing for change in an area well known for violence and crime. Two Works for reporter Lorraine Callender is at 61st in Peoria with more on the first Ignite the Change event. Lorraine. Corey, just a few hours ago, Johnson Park was filled with kids laughing, police officers mingling with residents, and most importantly, hope for a better tomorrow in a community known for violence and crime. A community carrying the weight of a violent and negative reputation. Everybody's heard about the shootings, the homicides, the quadruple homicide in one of the, com the complexes. Residents tired of the crime in a 61st in Peoria neighborhood, sparking a movement to make a change. When people have resources and they have family and they have support, then they don't look to crime. The first Ignite the Change event kicked off at Johnson Park Saturday afternoon after six weeks of planning and bringing over 30 community resource vendors, kids, parents, police and business leaders came together to make a difference. Understanding the change lies in their hands. They're doing it right now, right here. And we're getting together and having fun and a good time and watching out for each other. Starting to build bonds early. Kids tossing the ball with future police officers, bridging the gap between residents and law enforcement. All police officers ain't racist, they're not bad, they're not out here to hurt me or kill me. Uh, I've heard those things and we just shaking a hand or laughing with a kid can break those, uh, those barriers. A park filled with hope, resilience, and a vision for a better tomorrow. Tomorrow can be better. And not just that tomorrow can be better, but tomorrow can be better and it's within our own power to make it so. Those in attendance aim for events like the one today to not only bring hope for the residents, but noticeable change in the place they call home. In South Tulsa, Lauren Callender, Two Works For You.